Hey, hey, hey. Before we head out, we have to make sure we're on the same page. Repeat after me. We can't run off with the circus. We have to come home after. You can't run off with no, no, the circus. No. We. You have to include yourself in that. But the creatures. Yeah, I know, honey. I know there are so many magical creatures. I know I'm so sorry. You can't run off with the circus. We have to come home. But you just told me that that's what I can't say. No, that... no. We can't we run off. We can't run with off with the circus. The circus. We, we have, have to, to come, come home. home. Okay. 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 Eh, 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 eh. We can't bring any of the magical creatures oh. home with us. We can't bring any of the magical creatures on stage home with us. Uh, uh, all of them, not just the ones that they put on stage. What the all so of, I know, I, honey. I know. I'm they sorry. They need attention. They'll they'll get attention. Just they can't come home with us, sweetie. I should probably put my port key collars away, shouldn't I? Yes. Yes, you should. Man. I willingly married a magizoologist of my own free will. Hello, my witches and wizards. This is Professor Rowan. Circus Calamitous is coming to town really soon, so let's get started. The Circus Calamitous Brilliant event, well, at least the first week of it, runs from March 10th through March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. There will be two encounters out in the wild, the Brilliant Graphorn and the Brilliant Zawu. Think is how you pronounce it. You should probably ask Wolfie on that one. Two pieces of your registry will be coming from tasks, a fire breather and an oni. This event will be having 3k port keys, just like most of our brilliant events do. These port keys will be taking you to the Circus Arcanus itself, straight into the 1920s. Those brilliant port keys will be getting you Skender, the ringleader, ringmaster, yes, ringmaster of the circus, and you will be needing five of those. The wizarding challenges, which require you to get the special runestone, those will be getting you the house elf that works with the circus. There will also be a free store pack, including Ditney, Wormwood, and Spell Energy. Which is appropriate, since they want you to be brewing... Oh! Never mind. We've got no time for love, Dr. Jones, so we're running straight into the spoilers. Quest 1 of 4 requires... Dine at it in three times, which is almost part of your dailies anyway, and that will give you 25 brilliant XP. Return three of the brilliant grab horns, and that will give you another 25 Brilliant Family XP. Brew two healing potions, and that will get you 150 Wizarding XP. As a hint, start brewing those potions now, so that once the event starts, they're ready for you to just pick up. Finishing the first quest will reward you with 150 Wizarding XP, two Restricted Section books, a Circus Arcanus Ticket Portrait Frame, six Snowdrop, and four Bitterroot. Quest 2 takes you to fortresses. Defeat five foes in a wizarding challenge will get you 400 wizarding XP. Using three health potions will give you two leaping toadstools. And earning 500 XP from wizarding challenges will get you 250 additional challenge XP. Now you can easily do all of this at once. Toss on a brain elixir, go into a relatively high for you fortress and you can easily take out five guys at once need to use some health potions and get the 500 xp for completing quest 2 you will receive the oni registry image 100 wizarding xp 45 brilliant family xp three restricted books a zawu portrait sticker and two wormwood quest three of four has us focusing on releasing those in bondage we will be casting Alamohora ten times. Doing so will get you one silver key. Return five Zawu. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. Return five Zawu for 250 wizarding XP. And unlocking three port keys. 
which will get you Bane Berries. For completing Quest 3, you shall receive 500 Wizarding XP, 50 Brilliant Family XP, and 5 Restricted Books. And now we are on to Quest 4. The reason that this is late, because at the very last moment, the Wizards Unite team had to change the tasks. I will admit, it looks like it might be a bit hard, but I'm sure you can do a bit of grinding to get it taken care of. Defeat 10 formidable, specifically the formidable, foes in Wizarding Challenges will get you one Brain Elixir. Earn 1,500 Wizarding XP in a Wizarding Challenge, which you can probably do while you're, you know, dealing with all those formidable foes. That will get you two spell books. Use three brilliant runestones, which you need to get into the fortress to take on all this other stuff. We'll get you 55 brilliant family XP. Your rewards for completing quest four is the fire breather registry image, 1000 wizarding XP, 50 gold, and one circus banner portrait frame. And now on to the bonus challenge. Yes, the port key part is back. Again, so save those silver keys <sighs> or do a lot of walking. So for the bonus challenge, it shall be unlock five port keys. Not as bad as before, I suppose. It's not 10. Ooh. We'll get you one dawdle draught. 1,500 wizarding XP from fortresses. That will get you three potent stimulo potions. Defeat 30 foes in challenges which you're probably going to do to get all of that XP. That will get you three dark detectors. Cast Alamahora 30 times. We are fighting slavery here, ladies and gentlemen. That will get you two silver keys. And last but not least, return 30 brilliant foundables. Returning those 30 brilliant foundables will get you something new. As you may have noticed, there is a new opening on your ministry page. This is for an image of Newt Scamander when he worked for the Ministry. Completing the 30 Brilliance will give you an opportunity to collect this foundable. It is not guaranteed. So use that Dottle Draught, use your Stimula Potions, because I have no idea what level this is going to be, but I'm expecting it to be high or higher. For completing the bonus challenge, you will receive 2,000 wizarding XP, 100 brilliant family XP, three spell books, and the event title, Liberator, which I kind of like. Liberator of Beasts kind of has a nice ring to it. It may seem daunting, but these fortress ones should be able to be taken out fairly quickly, especially if you're using a brain potion, because that will up the XP that you're getting. It may seem like a lot of tasks, but it's all stuff that can be done at the same time. I'm honestly expecting myself to be done, except for maybe the port keys, because you know how I am with port keys, but I'm expecting myself to be done with the main quest by probably Thursday or Friday, and just be working on my bonus from then on. It does look like the XP in the fortresses is cumulative, so you don't have to get that 1,500 at one go. You can get it over two or three or however many runs through a fortress that you will need. I'm excited about it giving us something different. It's giving us foundables that we haven't seen before. It's giving us Newt Scamander a whole new way. And it's giving us an opportunity to get a non-brilliant foundable as part of the brilliant event which I don't think has happened before. So there you have it. I gotta get this to editing so that I can get this to you as quickly as possible. If you have any questions, please, I probably missed something, put it in the comments below. Also liking, subscribing, sharing really helps us out. Thank you so much to our patrons for all of your help. And as always, my witches and wizards, keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready. Thank you.